Hi, now in this particular video, we'll talk about the components life cycle. As we have seen, like so far, we have created a component and have sent to the browser. All right. So basically in the background, so many events actually takes place for the particular component. And if a developer has an idea about those particular events and when they are taking place, they can put some action on that particular event. So here you can see we have these seven events which, which are component will mount, did mount, will receive props, should component update, components will update, did update and will unmount. So these are the seven events which takes place in the background whenever a request has been made for the component. So here you can see there's a description of when these components actually takes place. Like component will mount is executed before rendering, all right, on both server and on the client side. So before the rendering, this will take place. So if you want to plan something before rendering means while rendering, you want to put something, you can do that right here in will mount event. Did mount is executed after the first render only means the first time as you will see. When we will make a first request, this particular event will take place while uh, it will not be reloaded, it will not be recalled in the reload of the same event. Will uh, Component will receive props, all right, it is about the property. So it is invoked as soon as props are updated before another render is called, all right. So if you are not using properties props, it will not be participating. Should component update returns true or false, all right. So th that true or false actually determines whether the component should be updated or not. So returns true or false, which determines if components will be updated or not, all right. So if it is true, it will be updated and by default, it will be true itself. Component will update is called before the rendering, before every rendering, it will be called did update is just after the rendering. So you will find these events will be uh, invoking every time you are making a request. All right, whether you are refreshing the same component again and again, but these two will take place and will unmount. It will be when you will be unmounting. That means when you are switching to some other component, one will be unmounted and that will be the will unmount event. So let's see a practical implementation where we are just putting some messages over the uh, console. All right, and we'll see when these are actually taking place. So here I'm using a similar example as I have done it with the state, like where I'm clicking on the button and the increment is going on. But here, let's see what all changes I have made in order to understand the life cycle of a component. So here you can see, like, first of all, I have done a similar thing like here there's state and there's data and every time you will click over this button it will call this set new number method and inside that set new number method you are going to increment the value all right and apart from that you are putting this bind method right here in my previous example i put that right here during the call all right so somehow you will have to pass this bind method so that it will be compatible with the ECMAScript script 6. Now as here in this render method you can see that there is a content element all right which I have created right here and inside that you can see that all the methods like component will mount, component did mount, component will receive props, should component update will update and did update along with the last one that is will unmount all right so all the methods which we have discussed so far are defined and whenever some of the appropriate action will take place these methods will get executed so what i'm doing here i'm just sending this prop number all right the number which we are updating and these methods will be updated as usual so let's come back to the browser, we'll refresh it and we'll come to the developer tool. So here you can see because all the messages are here in console.log. So for that I have opened this console. So you can see already will mount and did mount took place from the beginning and when the mounting is done did mount. And now whenever I click over this button you can see 
will receive props as soon as it received the props it will say will update and after the updation it said did update all right so that is what we have discussed in the description of the life cycle so this is how whenever there are some event taking place whenever there are some uh, change of states taking place these are the different events which will take place in the component life cycle tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning